Follow the same procedure when drafting the side piece backs as you did when you drafted the center piece backs. So start by marking two and a half inches in from ripped edges just to get a line that you can draw that will adequately allow for the corners we're going to install later. The length of this line is only going to be 11 inches because it'll be identical to the length of the height of the center back. So this way the pieces will join without any distortion. The distance from this line to the line I'm going to draw here is determined by the width of the side pieces. So it's the width of the side pieces in the center less one half inch or a quarter inch on each side. So in that case, that would be 5.5 inches. Position the quilt template so that this line is on each of the corners and the circles are facing the outside of the rectangle drawn. Join the lines There are two side pieces to the table runner. Don't draw on both pieces of fabric. Just lay one fabric on a second layer pin around the edges and cut it out. Next, I'm going to draft the lining for the quilt back, the side pieces of the table runner. I'm going to use exactly the same size rectangle to begin that I did in making the back piece. To make the side back lining piece, we're going to draw the rectangle that we drew on the back piece, which was 11 by 5.5. And I've measured in two and a half inches, on that side and now I'm going to measure it in on this side. This will be my starting point. Five and a half inches from here will be this side. And 11 inches from here will be my top line. Now I'm going to take my quilt template and I'm going to flip it so the circles will be on the inside of the rectangle and this line will be on each of the corners and trace. Join the sides to each other. Wow. 
Make sure there are two layers and then pin and cut. And you can stretch this so that the raw edges match on the bottom.